Good morning, Pastor Rob here, Daily Devotional. Um, looking at Philippians chapter 3 this morning. I guess in, in my mind I was kind of meditating on contentment in Christ. We've been going over the I Am statements of Jesus. He is the gate, uh, He is the shepherd, He is the way, the truth, and the life. And then today I kind of looked at He was the bread in John chapter 6. But I think in that statement there's something to be said for great contentment in Christ and a Christian should be different uh, as we follow Christ and we walk with Christ and as we're children of God we should find great contentment in that relationship with God and, and I'll get to that in a second but I was looking in Philippians chapter 3 it says there are many that exist as enemies of the cross enemies of the cross of Christ their destiny and this is in Colossians 3 19 their destiny is destruction they're enemies of Christ why is that because their God is their stomach and every day they're looking for something more than likely that relies on emotions. They're driven by emotions, not driven by the eternal vision, the heavenly vision to know that everything here is temporary and that we're passing through onto an eternal life. Their God is their stomach. They'll do whatever they can to satisfy that their stomach and their hungry desires. Their glory is in their shame. Their mind is on earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven big line to be drawn here there's a line between these you know, a decision to be made on all mankind and then I was looking we'll go back to John chapter 6 this morning where Jesus had just fed the 5,000 that 5,000 men that we know of probably women and children uh, I think John MacArthur and some of the other commentaries on this portion of scripture said he probably fed somewhere in the area of 20,000 people and the people are looking for him and Jesus says don't look for me don't look for, excuse me, don't look for food that spoils. Look for me. The food that you're after, the, 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 all the energy and all the effort you're putting into this food on this earth, the desires of this earth is foolish. It's wasted. And this food on this earth spoils. And he says, but I am the bread of life in John 6, 35. I am the bread from God. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry and he will never go thirsty. In other words, there's great contentment in serving Jesus Christ. Number one, in this world, we're not grasping for the wind, as Solomon had written. Uh, we're not grasping for things that perish. We're not being driven out of our minds for things that we don't need. We're not keeping up with the Joneses, so to speak, because we have great contentment in Christ. We have our hunger is fulfilled. In other words, our stomach is fulfilled. Our mind is fulfilled. Our heart is fulfilled because our motivation is to serve Jesus. And we find great contentment in that. And we'll never go thirsty. Jesus is the great sustainer. Actually, the, the, ver, the word there, bread, means he exists as he says, I am. I exist. I always will exist. I always have existed as the one who can satisfy your inner desires. And, uh, and I exist self-sufficiently, exist in power to provide, to be a great provider, a great protector. As we said, he is the gate. He is the gate to get in. He is the way. He is the shepherd that protects us along our way. And I just was putting that together with, um, with Philippians chapter 4. And that where Paul writes in Philippians chapter 4, uh, he was struggling sometimes to have sustenance while he was ministering. In other words, the churches weren't supporting him as they should have. Sometimes he was hungry. Sometimes, obviously, he had been beaten. He had been in prison. And all these things had happened to him. But he says in Philippians 4, verse 10, uh, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you have renewed your concern for me. In other words, somebody was providing for him. You have been concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. He says, but I'm not saying this because I'm not in need. I am not driven by my stomach. I am not driven by my cravings. I am not driven by my desire for things of this world. Philippians 4, 11. I'm not saying this because I am need, because I have learn to be content in whatever circumstance I am. And why, why is that? Because he found great contentment in his relationship with Christ. He had great contentment in his ministry. And, uh, and then it continues to say on, I know what it is to be in need. I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether uh, I be well fed or whether I be hungry. In other words, he understands who the bread is. He understood who the bread is. He knew it was Jesus Christ, and he was driven with the passion to preach the gospel and seek and save lost people 
as his Savior did. And then this is everybody's favorite verse that almost everybody ever meet. If it's not John 3.16, it's this one right here. Philippians 4.13, I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Of course, it says him, but it literally means Christ. Some Bibles probably say Christ. Uh, this one says him, but I can do everything. I found great contentment in the bread of life. I found great contentment in knowing my Savior provides for me. I have great contentment in the fact that I am not distracted by the things of the world. I'm not driven by them. I'm not caught up in my emotions. And what we see today in, in this world, in the United States, is a lot of reaction strictly on emotion, not on truth. And there's, for some, there's no basis for their emotional outbursts. It's literally, they have no contentment in this life. So this is how they show their discontentment, is by lashing out at everybody around them. And so, uh, again, Jesus is the answer. He's the way. He's the shepherd. He's the truth. He's the life. He's the gate. And he is the bread of life, as it says in John chapter 6, verse 35. I am the bread of life. I will sustain you. I will. You will find me sufficient. I will keep you from grasping for the wind. I will keep you from grasping for things that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, what the moth eats and rust eats away. I want you to look for, have a heavenly vision, a heavenly purpose, an eternal purpose on this earth. And that all comes through me as the gate, the good shepherd, the way, the truth, and the life, and the bread.